All right, we're back at the Classified Interview Series again. We're here with the real young L.A., man. Tell the people what's happening, man. Oh, man, another day at it, you know, just working in the studio right now, working right. on a new project. That's right, that's right. Uh, tell us where the name came from, man. Just I want to jump right to the name, then we're going to go back in history. And uh, all the that. name Young L.A. came from me just moving around a lot. Uh, okay. I I was a, the kid that moved through L.A. probably like 20, 30 times. Okay. It's going up and down, getting more money and losing, you know, different right. stuff. I lost my pops at an early age. So okay. uh, when I really started rapping in Long Beach, so when I was out there, everybody was like, oh, yeah, it's my boy from out here. And I'm okay. trying to tell him, no, I'm from L.A. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So instead of me having to keep said it, I just said, you know what, I'm young yeah, yeah, L.A. It's like you know, even right? when you go to a city, they almost call you the city you Yeah, came from. yeah, and they can be fucking with you. They just be putting on for you. Like, it's my boy. He, yeah. from, he from over here. Right, man. right, right. Like, yeah, I do, I do live over here now, and I, and I represent fucking with right, you all, right. but at the same the time, I'm from L.A., yeah. So let, let's go back to the beginning, man. So you went to school. You grew up born and raised in L.A.? Yeah, all mm -hmm. uh, the whole L.A. County. Okay. I mean, all through that. High school. Which high school did you go to? Uh, See, that was the thing. Right when I got... uh. Before I was supposed to go to um, Henry Clay, I got jumped. Okay. And then my mom was like, I don't want you to go to school in L.A. County no right. more. I don't okay. want you to turn out to be yeah, yeah, yeah. some burnt out. Shit. So uh, she, we moved towards Paramount. So okay. that's when I, I went to like Paramount. Nice. Uh, and right before I went to uh, ninth grade, I'll start getting into it. Got into some shit. Then we moved. She went put me in Downey, and then okay. after that, I went to Warren High. She was looking out. So bro. we were still moving around yeah. all through that uh, thing. Out. I had to remember my address and right. all that. Right, right. They had put me out every so often and said, "Hey, where you, you live at?" Yeah, I you heard that. To know your address by yeah. heart. And yeah. I had good grades, so I didn't really have no okay. problems. But that's cool. Was, was you good. into music back then? No, nah, I was playing basketball. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you played ball all in high school? Yeah, man. I still. Man, yeah. I told you I'm getting busy. Still. I don't even like talk basketball with people. Man, I broke my back. Matter of fact, man, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you like talk to running. Me and my manager was just running. We just seven. Oh, yeah. We just seven old them guys, man. Oh you know yeah. So I Get off the court type shit. We got open invitation. Who, who, who is it? Money yeah. on it, whatever. However yeah. you want to do it. Yeah. Before we was rapping, we never hooped against each other. Shit. Did you ever go to Marine Park or Pollywood out in South? I've, I've been to Pollywood. Okay. They know me up there too. Little, 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 yeah. I, been to, I ain't gonna lie. Oh, back in the day, we used to play like uh, two, three times a day. We yeah. used to be yeah. early on. Until the park's pretty much closed. Yeah. Go, go who won? You yeah. go read the Marine. Go Marine go over here. Pollywood. Yeah. Oh, they cooping in Carson at midnight yeah. tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <coughs> colleges, it was niggas be having open runs right. at certain colleges. Right. We used to look for them. Uh, Long Beach. Nigga had a key to a gym at yeah, high school boy, or something like that. Yeah, you, you know, know how that goes. Who was you listening to old school growing up? When, before you thought about rapping, just I'll turn that up every time you heard it. Um, I was listening to West Side Connection. Okay, okay. Um, you know, Tupac, Biggie. Right, right. Uh, we was playing... Um, shit, Earth, Wind & Fire, all of the old school. Barbecue music. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, every, I, it was pretty much there. Yeah. Okay. Um, I got five on it, the yeah. Looney's, the yeah. Brat. Okay. Uh, yeah, pretty much you know, like that type of vibe yeah. back in the day, the good, okay. real 90s vibe. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. on everything that was, that was popping they, they back They're calling that the golden age of hip-hop now. they putting I, that stamp on it. I can't knock it, man. I, I mean, we, the I felt... creative part of hip-hop. I can say we felt the best, yeah. and, and, yeah. and it was more about the, the music and, and not money and yeah. all that yeah, other yeah, stuff. Yeah, when niggas doing so, all of this shit was... The, you can hear the energy to me. I was it, it was all the new music, and also everybody didn't want to rap. So right. I, back even back when I started rapping, when I told somebody I'm a rapper, they look at you like you weird. Like right. you be in the house right. writing, right. writing them. Right. Right. Stupid. Right. Right. Nowadays you say you're a rapper. It's right. the most dangerous it's like job. In basketball. It's the dangerous job in the world. Yeah. Everybody yeah. want to be. So what you think about what's been going on over the last two years with hip hop? These artists dying and just man, it's uh, a a lot of people don't realize on um, what they be putting out. You know, the right. the tongue is the most powerful thing okay. we can right. and then at the same time that IG everybody watching you right. so you be saying Instant gratification yeah, that fly famous. stuff that you be saying right. you know so yeah you try to be somebody you ain't instead yeah. of just being who you are and then people love you for who you are right. Right. and then let it grow like that it go right. faster yeah if you start doing all the other stuff right but right. you know you so, grow in the right ways so that was some good lineups, you know. Obviously, we probably all watched the verses with Earth, Wind, and Fire, and the Eyes. Yeah. I mean, that shit was just yeah, classic. Uh, I ain't gonna lie, I like all the verses. Yeah, That'd shout be out the verses, man. That's one yeah. of them right now. Yeah, yeah we gonna watch you, the playback. That's what it was made for. It was made for the quarantine. Yeah. That's what the verses came through. We was uh, Same, just like TikTok. We used to be I, at the crib. It blew up like that. We at the crib chilling, watching that. That's one of the things. That's why I said later on, I might go back and watch that. Oh, too. absolutely. And then they, I've been saying they keeping them all up. 
so you can go back and watch almost any of them. Right. So yeah, we'll go back and check that out. Yeah. Uh, so let's. When, when when did you start rapping? When did you decide like your first run? You remember your first run? Uh, I said everybody something. remember that. My name is some some. Yeah, yeah. I said something about. Uh, I still be spit bus. I had uh, I had two knives like Warren Sapp, some with uh, big body bands with the Gucci mud flaps. Okay, okay. you know okay. how people come in. You Lyrical. come in. Putting out all, all the extra right, on it, right, right, right. So sooner or later, you start realizing the stuff you're saying it, it, it's fly. But now, is that you for real? Right. And right. you had to, you know, taper it so up. But yeah, up, taking the I came in just high. Um, really, my cousin was from the East Coast. He he was uh from Philly. Okay. He was living in the, with us for a time. So I had one of them beds with the uh, couch and the bunk bed. Right. So I was sleeping on the bunk bed, getting ready for school. He'd be waking up in the middle of the night writing. Oh, I wake okay. up. I start inserting rhymes for him. He then started that's a using. Coaster. He giving you a different feel. Yeah, he started using. No, nah, he was actually writing. I just okay. get out, tell him to rap it to me. Okay. And I asked him, he was using it. Okay. And then, like, after the third time, he was like, "Bro, you should just write your own book." Right. Right. And right, then, right. like I said, when we moved to Long Beach, I told one of my partners um, that I've been writing, not really that I rap. Just mm -hmm. was hooping after the game was over. It was a big ass part of everybody there. Writing first. Yeah, and then the homie just told me, hey, my boy rap. Right. I was like, man, I told you I don't yeah, rap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it was from everybody I spit, and I got that reaction. And ever okay. since then, I just you know it was something that I How many about how long? Five, ten? How many years ago? Middle school or man, that ten old. years ago? It was a long time ago. Yeah, from the first time. Time. I've been doing music. I, I say I started doing mu music in like 05. It was before Twitter. Before uh, Instagram, before Facebook, MySpace, and everything. Yeah, so you had that. to really be in the field. But nowadays, uh, the internet and everything help you uh, get cracking faster. So I don't knock it. I use it as well. Right. But before then, when I wasn't around, all you had you was had, you had to hand get out there. The street team for you gonna come, up. Is you gonna come out here and holler at the folks? That was yeah, it. You know. yeah. well, so. You talked about your first record. You kind of remembered a little bit of that. So you, you you starting to get take it serious. Your boy said, "Look, man, spit something. You spit something. Everybody, yo, man, yeah, 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 yeah." So you start taking it serious at that point. Yeah. Who was your first project? Did you uh, like a mixtape or back yeah. then the real mixtapes was rapping over other people? Be right. Yeah. I did um I did a, a tape called Sweet Sixteen, so okay. I did Sixteen Sixteen on other people. Okay. Beat. Okay. I had a tape called Brothers from Another. Okay. One of my brothers we were doing a project together. Mm -hmm. Then I uh, did a tape called I Know the Real. Okay. Around the time the other cat named Young LA starts coming out trying to use my name. Right. And then uh, after that, um, I made my way to the Never Not Working City, where we at now. Right. So you said somebody had the name and stopped up. Was it? How did that work out? And you said oh. that always happens. You know, well, um, it made me. It may it actually helped me in the long run. Back then, I, I mean, I still don't like it. You right. feel me? Uh, you still, it's still another one. Uh, he, I don't, I don't know. He's, right. I, he's I really heard. Only one is he the Prince of L.A. or Young L.A. It's yeah. only two thousand. Uh, he he's still alive. We are gonna say that. You <laughs> right, know, right. God bless him. Right. right. But uh, yeah, uh, around that time, um, I had a big buzz going. I had a lot of people. I was going. I was doing shows already. It was popping, mm -hmm. and um, it was his name was supposed. His name was Young L.A. Okay. My name was Young L.A. Okay. And I had a deal with Yums. They had went inside. So was the boy. He was on Interscope. So okay. it was just a lot of that and name going Interscope around. Camp. And he kind of like snatched it and ran with it. But okay. fast forward, um. That's why my name is the real Younger Lay now. Right, so right. at that time when it first happened, a lot of people were saying you should switch your name, and a lot of people I was doing like business with that I was doing business with that they thought it would have messed them right, up. They right, started right. falling back and all kind of stuff. So instead of uh, switching up, I just added the real. The so real. anytime you you ask me why is that, I get to explain. Same it. thing. So at uh, at one time he had a big single with um, Ti. It was okay. called Ain't I. So, but for the most part, every so many ain't our songs. every uh, artist from down south that got big, they either got popping in the east coast or on the west coast. But most of them was out here, so okay. it's just hard for it when you to blow up coming from the south to not be able to come right. out here to L.A. So, so when you was coming up, is there any artist that's kind of like a little bit out there now that you worked with prior? Like y'all might have did some collabs when y'all was just. In the dungeon with the type shit. Uh, to be honest, I've been smashing with the whole LA scene, so I pretty much know everybody who bubbling that's on now, all the way right. back from the Nipsey Hustle and the Kendrick Lamar. Right, right. They was all coming up at one point. I was um, around that. Uh, he was dropping something called like C4 way back I in the day. I remember that. I remember like that. After uh, 
Carter Michael Three. Jordan. He wanted to do his own uh, version of it. Okay. It was okay. a mixtape before he was discovered. Yeah. Yeah. So, way back then. So yeah, I've been bumping shoulders with uh, all everybody, all the great producers. And yeah, all I feel. Like, I look at it like this, like the college circuit. So everybody become that was in the NBA before it was in right. college, right. and they all right. knew each other. So some people make it to the NBA at right. whatever time they do it. Some people left early and end up coming back down here. Yeah. To, to the, you know, so, we talked about that before yeah, with the just, tours, moving too fast and not doing what's yeah, on the other yeah, side so of it. You got to take your time with it. So right. I mean, I do everything independently, so it's all it's all on, uh, on my grind. So okay. you, you, as I'm growing, I'm learning. Right, and right. Adding more to you it. You talked about the important thing, marketing. Yeah. You know, the gorilla part of that. So yeah. So most people even when that. when I came and um, met you. I was looking at how I can keep growing, and right. when I talked to you about it, you told me how it worked, and I was like, let's yeah. Count, let's just say during the quarantine, because that's the biggest chunk of people really had the time to dig in. What you, how, how was your 2020 in the studio as far as reporting? Um, in the quarantine, I was putting out videos. Okay. So I uh, I had dropped, my last album was called LA Weekly. Okay. Every week I dropped a song, and I tried to drop the video to it. So Give I'll, them the channels right here in the middle of the interview. Oh, yeah, uh, y'all go like. follow me, um, The Real Young LA. Uh, my YouTube channel is right. um, YUN9LA. Okay. You know what I mean? And you're going to see all of my stuff. But if you just search The Real Young LA, all the other uh, videos that's not on my channel pop up as well. Okay. But yeah, lately we've been going crazy with the numbers, 10,000, 20,000 oh, yeah. and stuff. And the new stuff that I'm about to announce is even bigger. So right. we're just looking forward to it. we just gearing up. Right. Um, during the quarantine, though, I was just, like I said, putting out, uh, I say because I've been dropping a lot of projects, mm -hmm. and when you got a lot of dope music, sometimes um, it get caught, like, lost without right. the video, right. Right. The, right. The, the type of music is so fast right. and right. everything right. visual, right. so I was like, let me try something different instead of dropping no projects that year, last year, uh, the mm -hmm. quarantine, 2020, mm -hmm. I didn't drop no projects, I just dropped singles and videos okay. nonstop, and I felt it pick up because like I said the transition from back in the day you all in the streets right, and you did, like, right. Man, the internet ain't nothing right, right. to fast forward with the internet everything is everything so now when the, you don't have no streets because right. the quarantine right. now all you right. got is the internet it allowed me to be able to start putting my footprint out there in the okay. internet world because it's two different type of worlds. two different and that's what and I'm, I'm used to with the real and you know people you could touch you right. know, good business. And you get to snatch that rug from under us. Like yeah, you so had now shows. Like I did a lot of shows. Right. Like even like doing school tours. Right. Right. Got right. a lot of stuff set up. But now all that's gone. All you right. got is is you about to be rapping. Right. Are you gonna be dropping freestyle? Are you gonna be doing uh, right. like a podcast? People start running all kind yeah. of different yeah. routes. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so, that's the thing I, I've been talking to artists about is, you know. This was kind of survival of the fittest when it came yeah. to like, yo, who? Because everybody done leveled off. If you we talking like a stick of butter, everybody and it, it's smooth now. Yeah. Whoever was popping it, I mean, outside of the baby, we talking about those big majors. Right. But if you were like mid, or you just got a deal, or asylum level, empire level, like everybody kind of went back down because you couldn't do shit. Right. And if you wasn't doing anything creative on the on the lazy, if, if you was show. lazy, you didn't have a company, yeah. a, a dance, something going yeah. on. It stands out like a motherfucker because now right. it's like, yo, what happened to whoop de -whoop? He yeah. was popping at the beginning of 2020, but right. now... So, yeah, man, that that was important for me to just sit back and see the value of our marketing to artists that's coming up. Like, okay, we watch it the same way, like, niggas ain't coming up with nothing to create, like... Yeah, the extra, the stuff that make you stand out. Right. At that point, we're looking for what's that. Right. And I felt like I went viral during that time because I dropped a few videos and... I start seeing everybody copy the way. Cameraman boy. was the the way he was capturing yeah, my boy your juice is nice. Oh, shout man. out to my shout whole out team. To What's his name again? Official juice. Official no juice. Y'all check him out, crew, man. Shout out to Pete too. TV, Respect my shoot. Yeah, shout man. Out he a big camera crew. His 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 edits yeah, he was wet. he was already you know the next level goes back to those things that are important when you come out to take advantage of two thousand to yeah. five thousand kids. Yeah. You want to have as many things lined up so you do come off as the star that you're becoming to the, yeah. the new audience because they'll take that and, and oh, have yeah, pride my, with it. Go ahead. I, uh, the guy who did all of my school tours was Jambalaya TV. That's who I was thinking yeah. of. Yeah, Jambalaya. Because uh, the one Jambalaya. who do my videos, I got a different crew because like I said, okay. the people that shoot the videos right. can't be with me every day. Of course Because he got a different type of schedule. Yeah, just, and then always. my boy, uh, Jambalaya, he more of a blogger and he do, uh, I got a documentary I yeah. did. 
Yeah, he do he's that dope. type of stuff. He yeah, shot he you like dope. a documentary. Yeah, that was tours. that type of style. That's why I wanted right. to bring him. Okay. Then okay. I got my sister, and she shoots stuff from a whole nother angle. And she a girl, uh, so it's okay. just okay. every different way. Man, that's different. important. Y'all pay attention, man. Yeah. He, he got three different camera crews for. That's yeah. important because yeah. I, I see the way that he captured. Like it was a movie. Yeah, it's all you know? different. So Everybody your recap is crazy. Angle. Like uh, maybe one 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 of them, the camera might go up high. Okay. Now the other one might be in the pit. Yeah. Then yeah, the other one yeah. might be with me all day while I was getting dressed. Right. All of right, them right. came shooting the whole process. I can't have the one no, with me no, all no, day. No, no, now no. he ready to yeah, yeah, just yeah, all yeah. switch different, it up. So it's different. Twenty people. minutes with this one. Yeah. Right. Shoot yeah. me the shit tonight. We'll talk yeah. later. Type shit. Yeah. So when I shot them out, I try to make sure I shot them all out. But right. yeah, that was Jump Live. That's my partner from New Orleans. You okay. know what I mean? So okay. he thugged it out with me. He's still in Cali. He went back. Oh yeah, he's still out here. Okay. You feel me? But. We was thugging at that thing because yeah. it was a lot of different stuff. Sometimes you say sit in the car. Right, Sometimes right, you would right, say right, uh, come right. in now. Sometimes right, we was right, out there. Right. It was ninety degrees. Yeah, man. And I'm sweating. We about yeah. to die. You would be out there right now. And then, matter of fact, remember the one time the uh, the radio started melting down there. We was like we had was to call it off. Yeah. It was hot. Damn, bro. Hot, hot. You talking we, about I'm in there with George shit. You coming in there flying in the trenches, jacket, yeah, the hat, yeah, and then it's ninety degrees. Yeah. You're like, wow, that was a and bad that shit. That melt through the tent sometimes. It's yeah, still yeah, just that the shit weather. Was serious, man. Yeah, man. It, uh, it, shout out to the, uh, my DJ uh, exclusive. DJ, DJ exclusive. exclusive. Yeah, man. Yeah, dude, I heard a lot about him then when we got to work when he was stuck. So you can see it. Ten some years people, was classified. Bro. Some people are turning to a diva, man. Yeah, right there yeah, live. Yeah, yeah. And you can't like I don't knock you. That's how you run your program. Respect, but. I like to see people thug it out. Yeah, like I said, yeah. we was thugging out. Yeah, I said you thugging out. Sometimes uh, we got the man. up throw. I'm working until the showtime. Hey, I'm talking to you about yeah. this, doing this. You pushing it through. So you got to yeah. respect it, man. I appreciate you know, it, man. People it's gotta 14 minutes of that shit, bro. It, it's easy to So us, what I was saying, well, right, I mean, right, go, take go, us right. back to uh, doing it outside. The reason how I found you is because I was about to do that and put the energy into it. And the thing after I thought all that, when I talked to you, it let me know that I can come during school time. Right, right. right. So now More organized. It's way bigger than captivate of audience. It's way bigger. Yeah. Okay, but yeah, I didn't crazy. Ever since the Novo opened back up as a Novo, okay. I've been running doing that every first the first show oh, of Waka yeah? Flocka. Oh, until this is after this is this is before quarantine. Okay, okay. Quarantine's about to open now, so the, right, the right, Novo right, right. just started booking. I think they're gonna be doing shows towards the end, of like November. We lost a lot of clubs too. That it's yeah, not no, some back. people couldn't make yeah, it. Man. You know what I mean? I've seen shit. And then uh, yeah, like right now, what's what's running is the strip club market. Yeah, because uh, yeah, when everything was closed, only people that that was still working was, was the them. strippers. So not now, even the churches. They were open though. Them in the liquor store. So now, yeah, now it's open and we starting to get booked. My uh, my DJ uh, DJ Everready, he out. he uh. Just got um the main booking up at DJ uh, uh club um Dollhouse. Deja Vu Dollhouse East of LA downtown there yeah right yeah. here okay so yeah. um we got a uh, money back yo on Friday I'm in there right. hosting it going crazy we just did uh Blue Vandros okay and then we did the Migos before that yeah, so yeah, yeah. I'm gonna find yeah, we're gonna find a way you know what I'm yeah, talking about yeah, yeah, yeah. oh yeah this stuff happening baby I just went to uh Las Vegas we did a uh, three um. Three day uh, pool party with okay. my boy Stats out there for yeah, the yeah. World Day weekend. What you got planned for BET? You know that's BET LA weekend. on the way. I, I'm booked for. Uh, I got a show uh, through my boy Munchie Edibles called Breaking the Stage. Is okay. uh, through iHeartRadio. Then I got a. Uh, my boy got a soft opening for his new club that he just owned. He, oh he yeah. Built. Yeah, so to I'm coming to out, congratulate him, my bro. boy Team I'm Trust and Fanatic. Looking for some venues, bro. So I might yeah, we working. Check that out, man. Yeah, so I'm looking for venues too. Yeah, yeah. I'm about to do some. Um, I've been. I always do my own shows and right. book okay. and be the headliner okay. and, and put artists in yes, front of me. Yeah. I, I headlined at the Roxy. Okay. I did the Roxy. Nice. Uh, I did a show in Santa Ana nice. through the observatory. I did my yeah, own show in Both that, of my that shows crowd sold out too. Is nuts. Yeah, I didn't. Man, they love me at the observatory. That's one of the way I got my name, observatory in the Novo. Right. So that's sure. that, I like that you said that, man, because it kind of gives the artists that might be tapping in and see this video later. Don't be nervous, man. Sell yeah. tickets, man. Get yeah. your money, man. Y'all be trying to do, be too man. cool, too fast, man. I still sell tickets. I never plan on not selling tickets. Listen I, to I always plan on. Uh, and see what y'all realize when I open up on these big rappers, 
Um, everybody that want to buy a ticket didn't come to see me. They might have came to see the baby. Right, but guess right. what? I'm hands on meeting yeah. your fan right now. Right. And after I perform, they gonna be like, oh, that's the dude that yeah. sold me the ticket. Yeah. Now if that following works, it's good. But now I get to meet 50 new fans before right, I even right, do the show right, that's coming right. to see. I mean, you know you gonna get a chance. To and I'm bringing 50 right. more fans that's coming to see me. So right. I got 100 people here to see me out of the 2,500. Yeah. So that's only a a, a small percent of that big crowd right. but a hundred people rocking to make right. the other 2400 people start right, rocking. that's important ain't no successful artists don't have that part to their story right? yeah man i pay i'm paying i pay my dudes but i'm still paying them right, right. so fast forward um i sold a hundred show a hundred tickets before at a show and for the game you back doing that shit like and, uh, i need you to come back and, and the whole show is sold out so yeah. i was the only nigga in la with tickets so okay. i i know how powerful it get if you know how to work right, you know right, what i mean right. but don't be scared man get out here and hustle man I can hear you know you're you marketing man that's yeah, important man, we dropping know. jewels for the people yeah i got my whole clothing line i got two talk two. about it never not working okay that's when i'm on my business tip like um you don't want to disrepresent yourself, so some people they be scared of when you say you smoke weed right, and you right. do all of that. So I just come in showing them how my business side, right, right, which right. is really how what I learned from the never not working with the younger life. Mm -hmm. When I, when he got the big name and I had to compete to keep my name, right. I started to do everything, oh, go to every show, yeah. do every feature, right. just tear everything up so much where it was no point where I was never not working. Okay, so. It just fast forward now it's a brand it's a lot of people living like that you right, living like right, that right, you know what i right, mean right. so um now nah, just branding i mean now shit, I got where, to, uh, why i got my own weed strand i uh I've seen that i got a whole uh big uh, bags too yeah cool. i got a whole club of uh, people that smoke like i really brought cookies to the city i made the migo smoke cookies i brought uh, this is the bay cookies from the, the no the i got my own okay, growers okay. that that's they they oh, from yeah. la yeah. yeah, shout out to the Bay though. You know, we ain't gonna uh, knock nah, them. You know, they started cookies, but yeah. I'm saying, my people, they get, they all you gotta do is get the mother right, and cut right, it. And right, like right, I said, right, it's right. yours. So, a lot of different stuff. But we just working, man. Producing, you know what I mean? We man. got That's the uh, exotic bud dog man. now. Okay. You know okay. what I mean? Me and my boy Jambalaya together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we got a great, great bud dog. One of the Tap in. You hear best what colors, about. best thing. We're gonna have some babies come too. My boy got one too. Okay. A couple other people we merging. What was your last crazy. letter? How big was your last letter? Uh, the last time we hit her, she got she had a phantom pregnancy, so we ain't had the litter yet. Okay. The litter that had her, it was eight of them though. Okay. That's two merles, yeah. Two solids and okay. four like tries and shit. Floating so. line, music. I sell dogs, cars. Cars. Yeah, y'all better tap in, man. It's multi. Yeah, we just opened up a barber shop now, so okay. We just going crazy, on, man. Like I said, when I leave here, I gotta go do this, and then when I leave there, I gotta go do that. And yeah, you should. Like, yeah, we just gonna keep working though. Following that uh, recipe, man. Then on, on the music side, though, uh, right. What we, we at now with it? We I got a big feature from Sada Baby. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. I'm working with the rich assholes. Okay, we're gonna listen to some music in a minute. Yeah, too. yeah, yeah, it's crazy. So okay. we got the video already shot. I'm finna drop that on them on 4th of July. Um, I just- uh, The channel that you gave us, right? Yeah, all Give it to them again. Here. We wanna make sure the they real get young that LA, uh, Why you in 9 LA? Just type in the real young LA, you'll see the video, subscribe. You know okay. what I'm talking about? Right. Or a matter of fact, just make it easy. Go go to uh, Instagram, the real young LA, and click the link in my bio. Okay. Sorry, no, you need these Vegas. I know AB's been doing it. You and AB have done some music together? Yeah, I fuck yeah, with AB. You've been uh, in any of these pool parties? Yeah, that was the one I was just talking about, bro. Is you crazy? Yeah. Wow. The three day one that I got. Oh, oh, yeah. A section in the bottle every three days, all day. I'm mad I missed it. What? I seen the fucking videos. I was I like, oh, they ain't wanna... got it to that level now. Don't make me show you the They ain't got it to that level now. No, that was, it was no, it was nothing. We was in Atlanta in Vegas. Wait a minute. I'm talking about that. I'm saying the party party was so cracking. Oh, it felt like it a, looked like we was in Atlanta, in Vegas. Nothing but real shit. niggas. The recap video was money Ill, and ladies and nobody Ill. did like niggas. Everybody got the camera shot. They was happy. They did a little. Man, no, niggas be like, get that. Nah, everybody was like, yeah. I'm, I said it was a dice look. game. Nigga, was performing a look, and strip. Yeah, it's I'm gonna have to I check out the next one. At, I performed at the third one. Okay, that was the biggest one, wasn't it? That night, that was close. Man, like I said, all that shit was crazy. All of them was big in their own way. But uh, first one was oh, at, man, at man. An outside. Shout out to and AB, first one was man, outside at the pool. Okay. The second was inside oh, at a uh, at a um, big ass man. That one? Yeah, man. And then the third one was at at my man house. Uh, 
Can't think of my man. Oh, y'all must have around this shit. Yeah, he had three different spots, three When's different the next days. One, man? He y'all going on uh, 4th of July. Uh, yeah, I got some shit lit, so okay. I'll be trying to make it when I can. Shout out to my nigga Stats. He yeah. keep it lit. Yeah, now, man. even if I don't make it, he's going up regardless. Let's just hear it. Let's just get into it. So which one you want right. to go to first, man? Since I was just talking about the Sada Baby record, we're going to play that one. All right, man. Shout out Sada Baby Detroit, right? Is that what oh, yeah, it's a good yeah. day to have a good day. Did you, you record that out there? Pull nah, up we the recorded it out here. Nice. Yeah, you nice. saw we coming this year. You know what I'm talking about? Back to back like Kobe and Shaq. Hello. Your boy Young LA, the real Young LA. And we got Sada Baby in this motherfucker. Turn it up a little bit more, Hold bro. it down from the D to LA. Yeah. Aight. It's up there. You know when it's up there, it's up there. What's the name of this one again, man? It's up there. It's up there featuring Sada Baby. When this drop? I, I can already tell this could be. Okay. Motherfucking chords out the fucking wall. Yeah, I just did it on Monday and uh, my, I let my DJ hear it because I was talking about being at the club. With, right, right. Uh, and um, he was like, man, send me that record. He played it on Monday, and they they got to spin that man, back. Man, that back. shit crazy. Yeah. Imagine that shit on the studio, uh, oh, club yeah, system, it's bro. Lit. Oh, my goodness, man. You can hear it's coming through on the line, man. Uh, so we got the Sada Baby record. I don't want to get too far away from that. I need everybody to make sure July 4th they get ready for that one. We officially opened in Cali yesterday. Yeah. June fifteenth. So don't hear no more shit. No no ask about no mask or none of that. Nice. We open open, you we lining outside. these shows up. We outside. We are all the way outside, I'm man. Getting called every day for some new shit that we fit to be doing. So hey man, same thing. Just follow my Instagram, that's the best way to stay live with me because I'm dropping them flyers. Like I said, I was just telling you about that money bag, yo, we just did Monday. So when everybody like, oh, we back on it. I'm back yeah. on Friday. Yeah. They're like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Give, give them that. Where's this? Give them uh, that. That's that Deja Vu. That's on. Um, that's a strip club, right? Yeah. That's what's up. Yeah, it's been popping all over the when country. Yo got that hottest single out right now with that Wakisha. We fit to go up. Okay. Sometimes you ain't, it ain't about uh, you having a performance. It's you going up. That's the hottest thing. Everybody right? in the yeah. city about to be yeah. there. So when they look and see, oh, this what? what you who supposed was that to be table? Is that right, right there? Right, right. That's Young LA. Makes sense. Yeah. As you supposed to be. Yeah. All the hottest shit in the city. Yeah, we're doing it up. Like doing you said, love. BET's coming. To, I'm sure, I don't even know what direction. I'm just going to try to be in the atmosphere and to see what happens. Yeah, you know there's going to be a lot of different uh, parties and stuff going. Yeah, I'll be trying my best to just get around as, much, as many places as you can. I'm only one person. Right. Sometimes I get called for four events in one day and I have to... I don't go to nothing. See, yeah. I ain't about to make everybody mad. Yeah, they yeah. Can say, now you, you pick him over. Yeah, you know yeah, what? Absolutely. I tell everybody, y'all, everyone, this was going on today. But am I going? I can't. That's how you know I'm already locked in. But for the most part, I try to spread. I think hitting that record July 4th, I think that's going to put some. Yeah, no, I've been playing to up. fuck up the summer yeah. in real life. Yeah, yeah. we yeah. got to let I've been asking everybody done, playing. Time you know you're playing. Uh, and like I said, really why I'm dropping on 4th of July is because I'm independent. So happy Independence happy Day Independence to me. Day you feel me? Hello. Come oh, yeah, on. man. Come I, on. And I never been chasing no big features or nothing. I just really been grinding it out, doing it myself. So right. now that I'm taking that step up, and I see a lot of people liking and right. proud of me, and right. it's about to be a good look. Yeah. So I'm happy that I did it. But in reality, um, happy Independence Day because yeah. they don't know what a lot to take there, right. what I had to go through, what I came from, what I'm going through right, right. now. Right, right. With all that right now to get to this point. But I'm happy that I'm here and I'm only going to keep Your music represents LA. Like, yeah. you can hear, and that's kind of what West Side Connection was. It was a representation of the entire coast. Yeah, I like, like I, I feel like when uh, when I used to scream my West Side yeah. and everybody was like, yeah. Yeah. 
That's period. the only thing we don't got from L.A. Right. Uh, we don't got nothing where when somebody's screaming, we all can say, yeah. Because, yeah. like, when you say Mexico, shout out to Mexicans. Right. Everybody right. from Mexico. Yeah. When you say Mexico, they yeah. going to say Mexico. Yeah. Yeah. When you say L.A., somebody going to say, well, well I'm from Compton. Yeah. Yeah. So I just try to put on for us as a, a, the culture. When you say Young L.A., I'm speaking on the county. And even you're speaking though bigger I'm, than local. You already said in your yeah, I'm local already, name. Like, I'm fresh yo, from Miami, baby. You me hear from me? already. Like, I'm telling with the people telling, hey, you from L.A.? Yeah. Y'all make L.A. They look good. Yeah. That's the whole okay. point. I'm trying okay. to make LA look good. That's so right. when we step out, they say, "Yeah, yeah I fuck with LA." Hip hop. It, it's got a hip hop, hip hop. It's yeah. not just rap. No, I'm, I can get in a cipher with them. I can okay. do a girl song. I didn't rap the verse in the church. Right, right. I, right. I could write for a kid. Right. Like it's we really versatile, man. Like I said, I don't even write. I just go in there and rap. Yeah. So you got the producer. He turn the beat on. I sit back, think what I'm gonna say, and go in there and say it. And come think. Of, Say it just like yeah. that, should I finish the whole song every day, every vibe, new beat, we go another way, same way, we just we knocking shit out like that, man. Man, that's not, I'm going to close it out like this, man, I'm going to do some one words, and mm -hmm. then you just tell me one word response, it be name, athlete, musicians, and it's kind of sad, I just want to, you know, I like that, lightning around type shit before yeah. we close it out, For sure. so I'm going to just say, uh, Jay Dillon, legend, okay, uh, MF Doom, um, God bless the dead. Okay. Uh, your videos. Intense. Pressure. I like that. I like that. We dropped that today too uh -huh. on a, uh, a little clip of that video. Pressure, man. I think you performed that on the tour. Is that yeah? What that was a. Uh, that's like one of. That's like. I say so far, that's one of the biggest songs that I'm known for. Okay. That song made it to the radio. Okay. Without, like, without nothing. It had, Kept it was, in with power? With, with uh, it was a homegrown radio. Okay, homegrown. And Shout then, out uh, to they the played business. it once, and then they had put it on the commercial, and they played it for 30 yeah. days. For the whole. We talk behind the scenes, man, and we definitely want to pull up to some shoots or whatever. We can kind of just chronicle this whole series with you. You know, it's not yeah. just an interview. We want to pull up uh, since the beginning. We went out to Ash Bass, and she had a performance in it. A rehearsal for a video shoot. We just pull it up and just call some behind the scenes just yeah. to show people like, yo, these people. This is what it looks like. I you love know? it. You know, LA need that, man. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I mean, we still got some more dates when we resume. I think yeah. we're coming back in the fall. We got like shit, three, four more shows or something like that before we even talk about Come other on. things. And then just to bring it back to the summer, we want to do some showcases this summer. Uh, I've been thinking about like pop up shows in different zones, so we really don't have to have traffic footing all the way to different areas. We might have to follow up all of these interviews with. It's a fucking tape. Yo, everybody, I need your two records yeah, you won't feature. Yeah. Exclusive cheeseburgers, go miss it. I'll do a little hosting, nah, everybody. Geez. And we got to get it out there. Like, yo, yeah. here's what the people we've been talking to. Man, like I said, you you got action and doing it. Go on and get your DJ Khaled on one time. Yeah, man, Bring yeah. all these superstars so on the, one. I mean, we've been doing one, it this long. Yeah, I, I got to start saying it. I got to declassify a little bit. You know? Again, man, I appreciate you, bro. Uh, every Man, it, the best thing about this is every fucking interview has had its own flavor as it should. It's been its own. You know, either we bring them to our lounge or we pull up on the studio so you can get it in in your own environment. Yeah. You know, and, and Fresh blast some shit. Fresh up in the kitchen, man. You know what I'm talking about? Thousand black was blown in yes, one sir. session, man. The pressure yeah. has been applied. Yeah, it's setting off allergies in this motherfucker, <laughs> man. Shout out to the camera lady. Run this back, man. There's a lot of jewels being dropped in this interview, man. Last couple of interviews, a lot of jewels, man. Again, we appreciate appreciate the house, man. Dope ass picture in the background. Rich ass hoes, man. All Shout out my boy Finesse people, for man. having us. Shout out Finesse, man. It's a beautiful lap. We will be back, man. I can't wait to pull up on something yes, again. Sir. Thank you for I'm coming keep through, bro. Posted, bro. For sure, man. Yes, Thanks sir. for having keep us. Matching, Class, my interviews, man. We up out of here. Hello. Big body beans, that's a G-Wagon. Four pockets full, got my jeans sagging. Yeah, I'm smoking out the pedal like a bean bag. And homie snuck a four up in the club. He got a lean habit. Squad thick, yeah, we in this bitch. bitch. On my boss chip, yeah, we been getting rich. Tell my DJ, go spin this shit. Thousand ones in the club about to spin this shit. Real niggas, bad bitches. Never going broke, got the bag got with us. Never on E, got the gas, got with, the gas us. with us. Party going up, ash bash with us. Call the bad bitches to the tape. I'm calling bad bitches to the tape. All I got is rich niggas with me at the tape. All I got is rich niggas with me at the tape. Tell her what you bring the ones to the tape. Tell her what you bring the ones to the tape. It's a whole lot of motherfucking money at the tape. It's a whole lot.